Thanksgiving may be over, but the leftovers are definitely are not. So you have a couple of choices. Here's one of them. The, oh, the ubiquitous Thanksgiving sandwich, the, the leftover sandwich right here. I'm going to show you a couple tricks, a couple ways I do this, and one amazing cool thing to do with stuffing. Yeah, there's stuffing in here, but not how you think it is. I'm making a stuffing waffle. What is a stuffing waffle? Well, in about uh, a minute and a half, you're going to know. So uh, stick around. All right, so clearly this is going to be the interesting part here because we are making a stuffing waffle. What is a stuffing waffle? It's a waffle made of stuffing. There you go. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Uh, just kidding. I have a, a waffle iron going. I have stuffing already did here. Already did it up. Uh, it's all fully did it. Uh, this is kind of a weird thing, but I have tried this with every kind of stuffing there as I've made my own. The, the Mrs. Cubison's or whatever it is. The fancier stuff in the box. Store brands. I even got the great value stuff once. This is the only one that works. Stovetop turkey stuffing is the only one that works for this. I've tried everything else. Personally, I might have broke some. Uh, but that's it's the only one that, that actually like holds together for this. So that's the one we're using. That's what I would advise unless you don't believe me. And then feel free to take the journey down that uh, rabbit hole of trying different things and realizing they don't stick together. I don't know why this stuff sticks together so well. Just does. All right. So we have our waffle iron here. I'm going to try and do this. Uh, can I just say that all the cameras and everything, oh my god, yeah, this is really hard, but I like you people, so I'm willing to do it. Let's try. Okay, so we're going to take a nice healthy scoop of stuffing. You can see this is already sticking together pretty well. You want this to mound up pretty nicely. You're going to get two stuffing waffles out of one box. I swear to god, I, you can't believe how far these things go, but you would not eat one of these alone on its own. So don't think like, oh, well, it's, it's that you, you would split this and you'd get, you know, four servings out of it easy. Maybe more, maybe, maybe you get eight servings out of it. All right. That is looking pretty stuff delicious at the moment right there. So we are going to bring this side down. Oh yeah. We're going to clamp. We're going to hold. We're holding. We're holding. Okay, you want to get that pressure in there real nice. Now I'm going to flip this back over this way for some stupid reason. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to make this. I, you don't need to see me make two of them. So first to make that one unless it doesn't turn out. And then you're going to see me make the other one. All right, so while we wait for our stuffing waffle to cook, yeah, this, this stuffing moved. Uh, what did I actually put in there? Now, everybody has their own favorite type of stuffing or dressing or whatever. Technically, this is dressing because it's not going in the bird. Uh, so we are going to just simply, you know, do it however you want. What is your favorite thing? I will tell you that the secret to this, and I'll show you this real fast because it will explain a lot. You want small pieces. That's, that's, that's my advice. Small pieces, big pieces get in the way and they make it hard and they don't allow this to come together as a waffle necessarily. Smaller pieces are better. So if you chop up things, chop them up small, uh, things that I like to put in here is onion and celery and walnuts, uh, bits of apple and some sausage. I didn't use any sausage or apple on this particular one because I'm keeping it simple. It doesn't have to be crazy every time. But uh, yeah, just put a little extra seasoning in there and the stove top can actually taste pretty good. I like a little uh, rub sage going in there, a little thyme, fresh thyme in there. Mm, so good. Uh, and of course, copious amounts of butter. That's uh, the secret to good, great stuffing, isn't it? Also, instead of using the water that they say to use, use your turkey stock. Come on, people. Since we're doing this after, uh, I can use the turkey stock that I made from the carcass when I made that on Thanksgiving. So it worked out pretty well for me. That's made with 100% turkey stock. Real stuff. Okay, let's get this thing out of here. Should be about done, I think. When it stops steaming like crazy, that's how you know. All right, I'm going to show you a trick on how to get this out of here, too. This is really fun. Okay, we can see she looks beautiful. Okay, we are going to flip this back over to the other side. Get the plate over here. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky because there's kind of a camera in the way, but we're going to do it 
There you go. Stuffing waffle. Pops right up. Look at that, folks. Oh, don't she look beautiful? You want this to have a nice bit of color to it. You see a bit of car caramelization. Don't go crazy because it will burn. And burnt waffles don't taste very good. Burnt stuffing waffles taste worse. Since we're only making the one, I'm getting this thing out of here. Reset. With the stuffing waffle made, it is time to make the sandwich. We're going to assemble this thing really fast. I've got some leftover turkey right here. This is a mix of white meat and dark meat because the best thing about the sandwich is basically you just get the crumbles and the bits. Cranberry sauce. Come on. It's got to be cranberry sauce. This is the canned stuff because I actually like the canned stuff. I'm weird. Um, roast me in the comments. What can I say? The only thing we need to do from this point is put it all together with a gravy. Uh, now, this is gravy I just made because I didn't save any gravy from Thanksgiving because it all got used because it's so damn good. So I didn't go through all the trouble. I didn't have all the bits. I used, hold on, I used one of these. Yeah, I cheated. Sorry. But I did use a little bit of my uh, turkey stock in there with a little bit of water. Gives it a little bit more flavor, but I didn't go crazy because the turkey stock turned out a little bit salty because it has all the, the bits and the thing on there. So, didn't go crazy. That's not too salty. A little pepper, but perfect. It's good, great. It's for a sandwich, it's fine. If you serve that with your Thanksgiving meal, <laughs> don't do that. Uh, all right, let's just make Come on. Yes, we are going to be toasting and grilling this thing off, but we're going to do that after we assemble it. Yeah, that's crazy stuff. We want this thing to heat up a little bit with all of that because everything's warm, but oh, it's so much better. So we're just going to put a schmear, a little bit, a little bit of schmear, just a smidge, not much, just a, just a schmear. We are going to go in, we're going to break up this guy, and I'm guessing we're going to use one quarter of this. Okay, we might use a little bit more. Okay. We're gonna use one. This is big bread. It's big bread. What? Okay, that's insane. That is insane. Don't do that. Okay, I heated this back up in the microwave just a little bit to take the chill off it. And I put a little bit more of my turkey stock in here so that it's not just sitting here dry. It makes it nice and lovely. So we're gonna grab out a few pieces of this. This white meat turned out amazing because have you ever. Actually, I'm not putting that on you. I'm not putting that on you. I'm not doing that and putting the gravy on first. I'm putting the gravy in between. It gets in these nooks and crannies. I almost screwed this up. Can you believe that? But have you ever spatchcocked a turkey? I did. Let me see if I can put a picture up here what this looks like. Uh, that's crazy. It worked great, by the way. 14 pound bird cooked in under three hours. And it's juicy and tender and amazing. I like the smaller birds, sometimes they taste a little bit better. Okay, that's a lot of gravy. Okay, now we are using fingers because I'm talking too much, we're running out of time. Come on, let's be honest. Let's hurry up. All right, now load this sucker up with as much as you can stand, as much as you can handle. It's a turkey sandwich, not a stuffing sandwich. What? This has a lot of stuffing in it, so you better have a lot of turkey on there. Oh, I see that tearing apart nicely. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Thing of beauty, I say. All right, we're going cranberry now. Does this look funny? Yeah. Did it go into a Tupperware thing and get squished? Yeah. Is this a leftover sandwich? These are leftovers, people, for real. This isn't like one of those fake things where I'm doing it like two weeks ahead. And yeah, I'm getting my fingers in here because you don't have time to wait for me to get the right... No! Fingers, people. It's my sandwich. I don't care. I'll live. Fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now, I'm not putting mayonnaise on top of that because I don't know if you've ever put mayonnaise with cranberry sauce. You'd remember if you did. <clears throat> don't do that. All right. I'm going to wash my hands real fast because I just touched everything. Then this is going onto the... Uh, Stove over here. We're going to put a little butter on this. We're going to crispy it. We're going to grill it. Oh, come on. Hold on. Stay with me. All right. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Now, I have no idea if you got to see all of that because that GoPro took a tumble a little while ago and it does weird things and it gave me the purple green screen. 
it just freezes and gives me a purple green screen. Sometimes it records, sometimes it doesn't. So if you didn't get to see that, I put the butter on the cast iron griddle and then put the sandwich on top of that. You can butter the bread if you want to, but it's hard to butter both sides. This works pretty well. Just move over to the side and put a little extra butter in there. And then you get this beautiful, oh, look how pretty this is. I'm cutting this thing in half and we're gonna taste it. We're gonna eat this thing. I'm gonna show you the insides and uh, hopefully wrap this thing up. And so you can go make one of these. And it's sourdough bread, so you have to cut it in a diagonal. It's important. You can't just, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't think for a second you're going to get away with that. Not around here. Oh, are you ready for this? I'm so ready for this. Okay, it's losing bits. It is losing bits. But that's, that's all the goodness. You got your turkey. You got your stuffing. You got your cranberry. You got your gravy. The only thing you have to do now is take a bite of this thing. So I'm going to. Mm. Mm. That's my favorite part of Thanksgiving right there. Mm. And seriously though, that, that is my favorite part of Thanksgiving. Because that is everything in a it means you made it. It means you survived. You survived another one. If you're eating that sandwich, woohoo, you did it. Congratulations. <sighs> Make sure you have a fork on hand because it's a little messy. And if stuff isn't falling out of it, you didn't put enough stuff in it. Okay? I'm being honest. Half of it had better fall out. Or uh, somebody's uh, asking for a beating. Don't do that. Put too much stuff in it. Mm. And if you do put enough stuff in it, then you are going to make this face. And do this dance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to say uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully your sandwich is as good as mine. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we've well, just got Christmas to uh, knock out or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or um, Jibby Jabby Dooby D. I don't know what they're doing these days. I have no idea what the kids celebrate. Maybe it's uh, Festivus. Yeah, it's just the rest of us. I don't know. Whatever it is, bring one of these sandwiches with you in case the food sucks because that doesn't. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost a thing. Leave me a comment because the algorithm lives on comments. And until I see you next time, have a good one. Bye.